Yo, what is up everybody? This is a boom and I know what? And we have finally arrived at the last episode of our Discovery Age Conquest with Germany. I don't know why, but this conquest has seemed like it has dragged on forever. If you remember right, I forgot that I was not even done with it yet. I thought I had finished it and I looked and I was just like, holy shit, I'm not even done with that yet. Had to come back in and finish it up. I'm telling you, it's because the damn capitals move too much. You know it wouldn't be a European War 5 video without me bitching about how often the capitals get moved. Two! Max it at two, that's it! Alright, I'm done. I did, bros. I did reach the industrial age. I'm gonna make a little, I was just gonna put it up on Twitter, like the, the video of it increasing, but then I realized that um, it opened up a couple more generals in the generals tab, and it also, um, I thought the generals were gonna max at 50, and then like something special would happen when you went into industrial age. Well, what happened was, you know, instead of five stars, Gold, it turns to uh, five stars or red. And then um, you get some new perks or abilities. I don't know, there's two different sets of things. There's the, the ones you spin medals on. I guess I don't know what to call them perks or abilities. And then there's like the two that your general just has that kind of um, changes with his level. Anyways, it turns to 5 star red and they go to level 60. I don't have any metal so I can't begin to upgrade them. They cost 2,000 to upgrade a legendary general from 50 to 60. So that's going to take a while because I've been spending the metals on, on their perks. But anyways, I'm going to make a quick video of that. It probably won't be very long, maybe 5 minutes. Just looking at the new generals, looking at the, uh, how the perks change. And then, the next video, the next time you see European War 5 in the title, it will be out of the Industrial Age. I'm definitely going to start off with a, uh, three-star country. And you know what, I might... You know what, I will throw... a vote up at the end of this. With the uh, available three-star countries in the Industrial Age, and then you guys can vote for which one you want. So... Boing! There you go. I don't even know what the three-star countries are. I'm assuming it's probably the U.S. Um... Uh, France, probably still Spain, China, maybe the UK? I don't know, I'll have to look, I'll actually have to look while I'm putting it up, because I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to start out with a three-star country, because I'm assuming it's going to be pretty damn hard to do with um, level 50s instead of level 60s generals. So I will attempt it, bros. With level 50 generals. If I can't do it, I, I don't know what to say. I'm a failure. I will probably have to le- uh... Well, I don't know. I'll probably keep my generals in packs of three. I don't think packs of two will work. Anyways, back to this. Back to this conquest. We are chasing down the capital. It has once again moved. I'm gonna have to leave it to some common units up north to take out the capital now. Ooh, 
What? Come on, bros. They didn't have any units there. You should have. You sh still should have been able to do that. Okay, right now, the capital building, capital city, only has one unit on it. Okay, we we took a beating. Next time, though, we should be able to pull that off. All those units were damn near dead. I mean, I'm just taking over every flipping Chinese city I can find. So they cannot move their capital yet again. This will probably be, I don't know, the sixth time they've moved it. I'm telling you, bros, it's, it's retarded. It's like, you know, every other game, you're rewarded, pretty much, for taking out the capital. In this game, it doesn't seem like it, it flipping matters. You can, you can take almost... Well, actually, sometimes you take the capital and you win. Other times they move it seven times. Let's see what happens here. I'm, I bet they'll move it back to the south somewhere. Okay, where did you put it, bros? Oh, there you go. Threw it up on Delhi. I don't mind that. I got my badass generals there, ready to drive in on you. You're running out of places to put it. One last city to put it at. Bitches. I was going to try to take that. Boom, we are right up on their capital. I guess we'll See next round where they're going to move it to next. I'm going to guess... Um, I don't know. Let me think about it. They still got some cities in the Middle East left. They might try to move it there. I don't know if I've cleared that out yet or not. Uh, they're going to move it to Dubai. Oh, I thought I had lost. There was too long a pause right there. Poor Lee Shivan all by himself. His buddy's gone. Oh, they could move it to Kiev. That, that'd be a good spot, so I'm going to take that. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, I, 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 I planned it. It crossed my mind to take it. It just didn't work out that way. I can tell you they won't be moving it to Omsk, I'm guessing. That's how you pronounce that, I don't know. I'm not a Russian. I 
I'm just thinking they're gonna move it to Baghdad or Dubai. I'm just for some reason I'm just I'm just feeling that as as the the next likely place. Oh damn they went down. I did not expect that. All right, well, we got the Arabs left, I guess. Let's do that. A whole unit, a whole, our fighting unit of combat cars. See how that works. Tell you what, we got our asses kicked there. I seen that coming a mile away. I was gonna throw down a bunch of generals and have some fun. All right, six combat cars. Let's see what they got against Riyadh. Damn, they took it out pretty easy. Only nine rounds. No generals, just six combat cars. It looked like it worked pretty well. Oh, hell yeah. Got me a decreased cost bonus. Aww. The combat cars could not pull off two victories in a row. Cowards. Let's see if we can throw down an ass kicking with all these generals here. Damn, I see one take some pretty heavy damage. Victory, I didn't think the victory was ever in doubt. Damn, they didn't do too bad. Alright, Lee Shimon got, got some partner in crime now. Two of them, to be exact. He's happy. He, he was, he got pretty lonely by himself. After Genghis Khan died, it was... It's just not a happy time for the man. All right. I, I don't know if they can take this or not. Oh, it was already damaged. Boom, I don't expect them to move the capital. I bet this is it. And it is Discovery Age. Germany, victory. Got me a little bit of cash flow there. Not bad. All right, bros. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap this shit out, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Ruminati, out.